All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the VW ID Talk podcast. We are Wes and Jan, and we're so glad you're here. If you're passionate about Volkswagen EVs, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Don't forget, you can also catch us on your favorite podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Overdrive, and also, obviously, on YouTube for a more visual experience. Uh, Jan, what are we doing today? So today, we are talking about headlights. Okay. We want to give our listeners and viewers as many tips and tricks that we've learned to use our headlights. And we also believe that this could be a great intro into the next episode where we would talk about what is inside the headlight okay. and how the headlights work. All right. Uh, that sounds exciting. And that was a, that was a matrix headlight you've got there. That was the, that the, the matrix higher headlight. end. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we wanted to talk about is um, understanding different types of headlights and the modes and how you can operate them easily and what are the tweaks that you can make in your infotainment, but also if you have some third-party tools, uh, how you can uh, enable some features. Okay. The first thing to set straight, there are two different types of headlights. Both are LED headlights. The ones that you see on the left that are called standard headlights, um, they have only one eyebrow, as you see on the top, and they don't have backlit logo nor the backlit uh, front uh, light bars. Okay. The metrics headlights or the adaptive, that's how Volkswagen officially calls them, adaptive headlights. Okay. Uh, they do have this, uh, uh, they do have eyebrows on both sides, as you see, top and bottom. If you have the S trim, it comes with um, the metrics headlight that has also backlit front logo and the light bars. So and that would be the S and the Pro S. That is correct. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And, and we'll talk about a eyeball, which is this thing inside. And you would see it during um, the, the video uh, further during the discussion, because this is actually moving. It's swinging side to side, um, moving up and down for leveling. There is a lot of uh, amazing things that this can do. In Europe, um, the drivers and owners are lucky to have so-called metrics function. And uh, what this is, this think about high beams all the time that are automatically blanking oncoming traffic and the traffic that is ahead of you so um, you don't shine into uh, those driver's eyes. Uh, this is something that uh, Wes and I are working with a German uh, company on potentially how to enable this uh, in, in our US car. So stay tuned, we'll definitely host um, an update. So on the standard and pro trims, it is called automatic LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. lights. On uh -huh. the S trims, it is called automatic LED headlights with adaptive front lighting system, AFS. Yes. Um, AFS, yes. And also yes. LED tail lights. So that's what you get yep. from the S totally. trim. So if you're in on, on the market for uh, the ID4, then uh, the the metrics one is is a um, state of the art. It's such a great technology. Um, it's probably the best lights that I've ever had in in a car. So the okay. first thing that we wanted to show you is <clears throat> how you operate these lights because the video today we are not uh, going deeper into disassembling and and counting how many uh, LEDs are in the metric or maybe opening opening this and looking at the motors that, that move it. That's something that we'll do in the next episode. But okay. <clears throat> in this episode, we wanted to give you an overview as a user, if you drive your car, what are mm -hmm. the options and how to most effectively use your uh, headlights. Okay, and we can see here in the picture, you've got the eyeballs in your headlights and that means yes. you have the adaptive, made, or what, what they call matrix in Europe headlights. Exactly, exactly. Um, yes. And because mm -hmm. yours is all wheel drive, looking at the bottom right hand corner of the picture here, uh, uh -huh. you have a, a front windshield defrost in the bottom yes. center that is As not well. in yes. the rear wheel drive. That is um, correct. It's because you have a heated windshield that uh, is in the all wheel drive. That okay. That is correct. And then if the people from Europe are seeing us, um, they have a button here, which is a button for rear fog lights. Uh, if there are people who are watching us who drive Skoda Enyaq, um, I feel like the VW uh, team um, in, in Skoda did, uh, or Skoda team did a really great job because they just simplified um, <clears throat> the buttons okay. and it's, it's like real touch buttons. Okay. So when you start the car, it usually turns on into the automatic mode. And the best thing is that you don't have to worry about anything because the car knows what, how much light is outside and it turns on the appropriate light. So okay. in this case, because there is a lower light, then it turned on the low beam headlights as well. And then 
as you start messing with the button, right? So when, once you press the mode button once, then you seen that it you switched off the order. So now you can start controlling which um, type of light you have on. So I have turned off the low beams. So the light from the inside of the eyeball has been switched off. So if you would be if this would happen at night, you won't see ahead of you because these parking lights don't have enough lights to keep um, the road uh, lit. This is just for you to be seen in the car. Okay. And then when you press it again, uh, it completely turns off the light. So if you want to turn off the car lights and maybe be inside uh, while you're waiting for somebody, that's the way to do it. So press yeah. the mode button until uh, this uh, shuts off. I use it for that all the time. If you're a, if you're hauling children to, to practice or wherever, right, and you're sitting there in your car. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And uh, yeah, I use that for that. And then you're not burning, you're not burning gas sitting in your car with your climate control <laughs> going. But uh, you don't want to be blinding people either. So, yeah. Exactly. Now, I did use the parking lights once because I was parking in the front of somebody's driveway that was very close to an intersection. And I felt like it was safer to keep the parking lights on. So I was hoping that my car, car would be more visible and people wouldn't um, hit, uh, hit the car. Oh, well, let's talk about those uh, individual modes. So daytime running lights, uh, those are lights that are on only when you see only the auto. So which means that there is a lot of lights out, light outside that the car doesn't need to turn on additional light. It, on, it has the eyebrows turned on, right? But mm -hmm. it does not have the central logo illuminated. And it does not have the rear um, rear taillights are not illuminated in this right. daytime running mode. And that is actually okay. news to me. On that's one of the things I learned from what you put together here. I did not know that the rear taillights were not softly illuminated in daytime running light mode. I was going to say I like the way you've titled this. Be seen. This is about being yes. seen, seen and not exactly. yeah. Exactly. And there is a tweak that you can do with uh, OBD11 to uh, turn the, 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 uh, the taillights on. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So the, the next um, headlight mode is the parking light. Um, that is, think about it as an, um, a mm. daytime running light plus the mm. rear taillights plus the illuminated front logo and the front uh, light bars. Okay. And uh, on the switch, you just see it very, very easily because it's this, like two light bulbs <laughs> shining from each other, right? This is essentially Scandinavian daytime running light mode, right? Exactly. Here, right? The next uh, light step is obviously the low beam or the regular headlights. Again, these are, if, if your switch is on auto, these are automatically turned on and they're they, uh, they have this green uh, symbol here. And you see that inside of the, um, the eyeballs, uh, there is the LED array. There is a, a set of LEDs that actually um, shine on the road. So this is your typical driving light. Okay. Okay. The next one that is special for uh, these um, metrics taillights okay. is so-called poor weather lights. I'm, I'm not sure why they call this poor weather lights, but uh, in some countries, this may be called front fog light. Okay. And it's essentially a separate um, light that is built into the built into the light uh, that looks like this. So this this whole thing is for your poor weather lights. And the idea is that it illuminates it illuminates Okay, exactly. Gotcha. Immediately from the car and on the sides as well. So that's okay. also then used um, to illuminate uh, if you're turning. So that's used as a as a turn illumination as well. Okay. You see further at night uh, there are high beams and high beams are engaged through the stalk or lever. That's the same that um, is used uh, to uh, click your turn lights. And when you see the car from the front, it looks as if there is another reflector in the lens. In fact, when we look at the headlight itself, this element is the my main uh, high beam. Uh, but of course, uh, also the there are some uh, LEDs inside that um, inside here uh, the the eyeball that work as an as an high beam. But we'll talk about that. Uh, okay, the, those are additional as well. Okay, yeah, because I can see in the picture here that it's brighter for sure than it was. Yes, yes, the, yes. the eyeball was brighter. Okay. I agree. Yeah, yeah, totally. 
And now let's talk about light assist because there is a feature that can automatically turn on or off your high beams. It's very similar as the, the on or off, off for the low beams. So if you go to the headlight setting, then you can turn on or off dynamic light assist. If it's off, then the control, the high beam control is fully manual. Okay. Like, like any regular car without advanced technology, you can expect you, you push the stock out to activate your high beams, exactly. you pull it back in to turn them off. And exactly. You, you're absolutely right, Wes. So when you push the stock out, it turns on. But if you push it out, it doesn't turn off. It's still on. To turn it yeah. off, you, you will uh, pull it towards you. Okay. Right? And then pulling gently toward yourself is just to flash your beams at someone to that alert correct. them of a danger or, or... Danger situation. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Now, so... when the dynamic light assist is on, so I'll go again to the headlight setting, turn it on, then now it behaves a little differently. So when you pull it out, it does not turn on, but this white indicator that, hey, this, this function is now active, and when, we, when it's dark and there's no traffic, and it automatically turns on the high beam light. Mm -hmm. But importantly, that does not activate by itself. You have, to, you have to push it out to activate the automatic high beam function. And exactly. then if there is no oncoming traffic, Traffic. It will Correct. turn. Okay. And so what Correct. the white logo with the A is telling us is that currently auto high beams are enabled. And as soon as you're not going to blind someone, it will turn itself on. Okay. Yes. The one, co one confusing thing is that if you push it again forward, right? I push the stock again forward. Now I kind of overrid this function and now it's on all the time. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now if I push it again forward, then... <laughs> What it literally does, it turns off, uh, it switches between this, this automa automatic function and being on. always on. And okay. Yes. So to cancel, to turn off the, the high beam, regardless if it's manual or automatically triggered, you just pull the lever towards you. And if you pull it towards you, it should turn off regardless how the, headlight, how the high beam headlight was turned on. If you have it in automatic mode and it detects oncoming traffic and turns itself into just automatic mode and then you pull it towards you it does not turn off yes um, you, will, you would you would flash do, the, you would flash exactly you exactly. flash the beams at someone exactly and that's frustrating because it actually exactly. works really well 90 percent of the time yes um i would so. almost say that if the um high beam um, turning off function is faster than you let's say if it turns off with a half a second before you pull the lever wanting to turn it off, then what you, it turns off, but then when you pull, uh, pull it towards you, you will kind of flash, flash. The, 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 the car. So yeah. uh, it's confusing. I, 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 hear, I hear you, this happened yeah. to me so many times, and I actually realized that I, by default, I'm not using this function. Yeah, and that's probably what I'm gonna do for now until until it gets a little better. But we're yep. also excited to try out the Matrix. If we can, we might be able to post a video. Volkswagen has a video of the Matrix headlights working. This yep. really, oh, th this is it right here. Well, no, so this is, this your is video. not the full metric. This is, this, is, this is my video where I wanted okay. to kind of also show you how the night driving works. So what Wes, mm -hmm. you're talking about is, and, and we'll link it in the description, um, the metric function literally is high beams all the time, but it's only casting shadow to oncoming cars and the cars that you're driving behind. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really neat. It's really awesome. It's really awesome. And again, stay tuned if we uh, are able to figure this out with um, the German company that we're working on this. Now, there is still a lot of coolness with, the, with the, the metrics headlights that is available here in the US without the metric uh, headlight function um, enabled. So what you see here is um, I went into the car, turned on the ignition, and this is just a cut on the headlight. And you see the eyeball, what the eyeball is doing. And there is some interesting dance. Um, people, people call it a dance on the, on the beginning. So when, you turn, when, you, when the uh, headlights are on and you turn on your ignition, it does this type of dance. Okay. Right? So it kind of calibrates itself. And then as you start driving, it, um, it will start steering lightly. And there are two things that are happening in this moment. Now you see this part of the road is illuminated. So it's not that this would be able to bend 
all the way. This is the poor weather light on the left hand side that got turned on to illuminate this side of the road. But also knows, uh, notice the, notice the, see it, this physically, the, the eyeball physically moved towards the left. And sometimes when you wiggle your steering wheel, you'll see that uh, the light path is moving like that. And that's exactly you're moving the eyeball. So it's projecting the light towards where you're going based on your steering wheel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And, and so again, I'll, I'll now, okay. So now going on the other side, now you see the, the poor weather light on this side illuminated. Now the poor weather light on the other side have illuminated. So I was going kind of like a crisscross on the road mm -hmm. just to demonstrate how this works. Yeah. So I feel like this tech is really, really, really amazing. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I've, I've really personally enjoyed the, uh, what do they call it? The find me around a, the, a, around a corner uh, moving exactly. the headlights. It, hel yes. it helps. Yes. Um, yes, 100%. And that is only on the adaptive headlights, right? It does not move on the standard headlights. Is that correct? I believe so. That's how, okay. it, how it is. I was trying to validate with uh, Gemini, and it seems like it's the case. I found a car in stock that doesn't have the metric uh, headlights, and it does not have the poor weather light button. But okay. whether they have additional LED that illuminates the corner. I don't know. If you have um, that car, let us know in the comments so uh, we know. Yeah. Please. All right. Cool. Cool. So let's take a look at some in-car settings. And oh, hey, look at this. There are some great podcasts that you may <laughs> want to subscribe to. <laughs> shameless plug. Uh, okay. Shameless plug. And um, also, you see, Wes, um, this was the trick that you shared last time, how I um, customized my, my home screen here. So I have the AC seats and then, of course, what is playing and then some shortcuts to, uh, let's say, um, setting car settings that I'm using quite a bit or charging. All right, so vehicle. So in the vehicle lights, headlight setting, there is a number of settings uh, <clears throat> that pertain to the features that we have talked about. So if you okay. don't have them turn on, or if you want to, for example, turn off the dynamic uh, light assist, which is the, the, the high beam assist, you can mm -hmm. do it here. It's called dynamic light assist. Yeah. So the dynamic light assist is for high beams. Dynamic that cornering is, dynamic. is for following you around the curve, right? Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. The last one here, we were debating about this, but this is turn on time. This is the time of day, the time in the evening when your when your headlights kick on, not just the daytime running lights, but the actual low beams, whether it comes on when it just mm -hmm. starts to become dusk or whether it's a little bit darker. You know, I, I would say yep. we like to keep that as early as possible. If you would like to use the so-called Scandinavian daytime running lights, which adds rear taillights, uh, you can uh, activate this function either if the dealership is a nice dealership they should be able to activate this for you but you can do it at home if you have for example obd 11 or if you uh, can uh, have access to sfd unlock that you can do this in with vcds as well and the the way to do it is that when you connect to your vehicle with obd 11 then you see so this here is a down screenshot from your obd 11, 11 app right yeah yeah right okay. down okay. below you see apps right so i okay. click on apps and I search for Scandinavian uh, daylight uh, or daytime lighting, running lights. And mm -hmm. you see it describes what the function does. And you can, in my, my car, it's on. But as you see, you can change the value. You can turn it off or turn it on. Anything that helps make you more visible seems like it would be a useful exactly. feature. I 100% yeah. agree. I 100% agree. Uh, plus also right. the VW logo in the front and potentially at the back, if you have the uh, 2023 US model and higher, is illuminated as well um, with these uh, enhanced daytime nice. running lights. So, All right. Well, I've learned something already just from watching this uh, that, that you put in that I didn't know. And that's about that the rear uh, daytime running lights are not illuminated. And we also learned about the, uh, the headlight functions where you can, you can automatically have uh, high beams come on or off. Yeah, so if you found this useful, please subscribe uh, to the video here. Let's look for the next episode where we go deep into this, uh, into the headlights and uh, see how they work and what is inside. I'm really interested to see how many LEDs there are in the metrics. We'll count it uh, next time. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.